All right, Ghetto Man here for a little uh, control room chat. Um, I've uh, been watching the news like everybody else. Not the lamestream media, but the uh, alternative media. I even call it that. It's the independent media. I've been watching the independent media and, and following this uh, shooting that took place at this school uh, in Florida. Um I guess just recently the there's been evidence that the police department stood down that they didn't even enter the building and uh and try to uh you know uh stop this madman from killing the children within the school. They sat outside for it was minutes, uh, 10 minutes, maybe maybe longer. But anyway, long enough that the shooter was able to do a lot of damage and and the children were not protected by the local police. Well, you know, I got to thinking about that because I remember uh, back uh, probably, uh, I don't know, uh, 10 years ago, maybe a little, maybe a little more, there was a uh, Supreme Court case that came down. And basically what the Supreme Court said that, that the police departments are under no duty to protect its citizens, uh, that, that they're, you cannot sue them for failure to protect you. And there were a couple of cases. I, one of them was a... Uh, a case out of the District of uh, Columbia, and I believe the name of that case was uh, Warren uh, versus District of Columbia, and that's where it was through the uh, District of Columbia Court of Appeals. It was a case where the court held that the police do not owe any specific duty to provide police services to citizens based on you know, some public doctrine. Well, I'm not going to get into the case any further, but the case eventually, uh, this issue. It ended up at the Supreme Court. I'm not saying it was particularly in this case it did, but it, uh, something that was very similar ended up in the United States Supreme Court. It was called Castle Rock versus Gonzalez, and it can be found in um, Book 545 of the United States Supreme Court on page 748, and it's a 2005 case in which the court ruled uh, that, and it was a 7-2 to two decision, by the way, that a town and its police department could not be sued under Title 42, Section 1983, for failing to enforce a restraining order, which had led to the murder of a woman's three children by her estranged husband. Okay, so anyway, the courts just reaffirmed what the appellate court in the District of uh, Columbia had ruled. It ruled that it ruled that you're the police are not under any obligation to protect you. So you can't sue them for non-protection, even though you had, a, in this case, a restraining order against somebody, and they went ahead and violated that restraining order, and the police did nothing to, you know, uh, stop it from happening. So uh, there is no lawsuit. There was no violation of life, liberty, or property because the police are not, under no obligation to protect you. Now, with that said, we take a look at what's happening in the schools today, especially with all this um, anti-American, unconstitutional um, uh, gun grabbing, gun control nonsense. When uh, every gun control law that's passed by any legislator anywhere in this country is null and void because it's unconstitutional. Nobody has to obey it. There is no authority on the United States Constitution, nor can c Congress nor do they have the authority to pass any law that even so much infringes upon somebody's right to keep and bear arms. And if we want to get into the militia, you can, I've got two uh, 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 videos or shows on that that we go through the entire establishment of the militia, all the laws that were passed by Congress, everything that it exactly meant and what a militia member is expected to do, uh, what uh, uh, weapons and ammunitions they could own, and it goes on and on. You can, I have all that information. I realize it's long, but in order to really understand how the Second Amendment works, you really need to go through all this history. So if, if you would, just I recommend that you watch on uh, BitChute my uh, two videos on the Second Amendment, part one and part two. Anyway, what I, what I was getting at here is that since the police are under no duty to protect anybody in the community, I mean, they're under no duty to, you have to under understand that you as a citizen, just as a citizen, you have the same power, actually more power than that of a police officer. Now, you've heard of the term citizen's arrest, haven't you? you know, a citizen can go arrest somebody. Of course they can. If you see somebody violating the law... You have just as much power as a police officer to stop that person from violating the law. You have a right to arrest him. You have a right to detain him. 
detain him and turn him over to the police or whatever you have to do and to uh, you make sure that this person you know sees justice. Okay, so understanding that. Don't you think it's time to really understand why they're trying to take away our guns? You know, they're, they want us to have no protection at all. If you want to protect your children in school, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to have to purchase a weapon and you're going to have to protect the children yourself. You're going to have to find some way of protecting those children in the school systems. You can't just sit there and, um, and uh, just think that somebody else is going to do the job. Now, whether a teacher wants to carry a, a, a gun or not, that's their choice. But if you want to be protected in a free society, then you better retain your claws. You know, it's like the it's like when I listen to these gun control people. I mean, the, it, the insanity, it's, it's so beyond insanity, I can't comprehend it. It's like them saying what we're going to do to protect people from grizzly bears, we're going to declaw all the bears. And mountain lions, we're going to cut off all their claws and pull all their teeth. And that way we'll have a safer environment for hikers and stuff. It doesn't matter that the, the animals can't protect themselves anymore. It's just it's safer for everybody else. It's bullshit. You take away somebody's claws and they cannot defend themselves. And since the government has no duty to defend you or protect you, then it's up to you to provide perfection for yourself and your family and your community. And it's about time to tell these gun control advocates to take a hike. This is crazy. These people are anti-American extremists. They want to overthrow this country. The only reason why they want to take our arms is they want to disarm you so they can have their way with you. And the school shooting in Florida is a prime example of that. There was no protection in that school. The police department, no protection. And that's why the police, police chief or whatever he is, the sheriff, or um, uh, he's not going to stand down because according to the Supreme Court of the United States, he didn't do anything that was illegal. I'm the ghetto man. If you're politically correct, then you're legally wrong. And if you're not part of the solution, then you are the problem. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and please share.